Having a child, having my little boy, is a daily reminder that it's my job at EWG uh, to protect people who can't protect themselves, to speak up for people who don't have a voice in Washington, stand up for taxpayers who didn't know their dollars were being wasted in ways that actually contributed to pollution on the farm or in streams. They don't have lobbyists. Well, they have EWG. Uh, the whole idea of the Environmental Working Group became, let's make the environment something that's personal, intimately important, something that really mattered, not something that was distant and external to all of us. And it's so easy to think of the environment that way. Smokestacks in the distance, following the air, that notion of the environment is critically important and has brought us a long way, but what it leaves out is the day-to-day -day experience that so many people have. They're putting on personal care products, they're shopping in their grocery store, they're cleaning their house, and in every one of those major activities that's so mundane we don't even think about it, there's an opportunity for someone to understand a connection between the environment and their health. But a lot of people have realized, watching what happens particularly in Washington, that it's very difficult to get things done. And parents would ask us, well, that's all well and good to try and reform the toxic chemical laws, but what am I supposed to do? Wait five or 10 or 15 years? I've got a, an infant. Do you mean to tell me that maybe when he's 15, the chemicals that are in him now will be tested for safety by the government? I don't want to wait. How do I avoid those chemicals? So with all of that tremendous need out there, we have to do two things. One, we have to keep the pressure on Congress and keep the pressure on the administration to fix our broken legal system, to have strong regulations that protect public health. At the same time, we have to tell consumers, while the government's taking its good time to act, we're going to be here to give you the best advice we can to protect your family and your health. And that's the combination I see going forward in the next 20 years for EWG that's going to make all of the difference. Getting people who are thinking of themselves as smart shoppers to become advocates. And that, I think, is the future of EWG.